This is a pretty simple project. I'm just putting together a pegboard for Melissa. I'm gonna dress it up a little bit and hang it off a French cleat on top. So this uh, fiberboard material that uh, pegboards are made of is really flexible stuff. And uh, if you just put one piece of wood backing on uh, one side and one on the other, you'll just get a little bit of flex to these guys. So instead I'm just gonna build a simple frame. Uh, the downside of that though, is if you use uh, really wide framing members, you lose, a, uh, you lose some of your pegs. So instead, I'm gonna rip up some narrow strips kind of like this and use those along the edges. That way I'm only gonna lose uh, one set of pegs on each side. So here I've got uh, one of these strips of wood just flush along the bottom. This is going to be the bottom of the pegboard. Uh, the French cleat is going to go on the other side. So I've got one of these strips lined up and I'm going to use these kind of short silver uh, wood screws. I think they'll look pretty good. And I'm just pre-drilling some holes. So the top is going to be up on this end. This is the bottom. Uh, this thing is going to be hung vertically. And uh, I'm just going to put in one more support here and then some more strips around the sides. All right, so the pegboard is uh, nice and solid now. It doesn't have that flex to it. There's a support here and you have supports around the edge. And the last thing to do is to put the French cleat up here on the end. Uh, that'll be the top of the pegboard and where it hangs on the wall. So the uh, principle behind a French cleat is pretty simple. It's just a piece of wood uh, cut at an angle. So this would be your, uh, imagine my wall is right over here and this would be the piece mounted on the wall and then this would come over the top of it, over the top of it, latch down below and just hold on nice and tight. And then I'll rip this down nice and narrow so it doesn't take up too much room on the pegboard. So this is the top of that pegboard again, and here's the French cleat. This part will be on the wall hanging there, and then this part will come in over it and hold it on. So all I need to do is attach this to the back of the pegboard. Well, it looks like it is bye-bye a walking bed. I think this is a good spot for the pegboard. It's just gonna hang like this. Level the cleat and you level the board. There we go. So that's it for this pretty simple uh, vertical pegboard that hangs on a French cleat. Uh, the French cleat's nice because you can take this down. I am thinking we might paint this uh, pegboard or stencil uh, some letters on the top of it. And that would just make it very easy to, you know, take it up and put it down. Uh, as you can see, I just drilled some uh, uh, screws into the drywall here. If that starts to get loose, I'll go ahead and put some mollies in there. I'm thinking she's going to be hanging yarn samples on this, so I'm not expecting a whole lot of weight. It does have a little bit of a... Uh, you know, firmness to it now that it's got that backer board and plenty of room back behind for her pegs and hooks. She has an array of pegs 
that um, are somewhere around here that she plans to hang things on off this uh, pegboard. But in the meantime, I'm just going to leave it blank and uh, it'll be a blank slate pegboard for her to do what she wants with it.